Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about absolute extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals a negative x to the third power minus 6x squared minus 9x plus 3, and we want to find the points of absolute minima and maxima on our closed interval from negative 3 to negative 1. The first thing I need to do here is find the derivative, okay? So I'm gonna take my derivative, or find my derivative, call it f prime of x, and we're using our power rule. Three comes down, negative three x squared, subtracted by one here, and then two times the six is 12, so we have a negative 12 here, x, subtract the exponent by one, which is a one, and then we just have a minus a nine going on here. Hopefully you know your derivatives by now. From there, let's go set our derivative equal to zero. We have a negative 3x squared minus 12x minus 9 equals 0. And now we're solving for x here. I pulled out a negative 3 from all parts here. And so negative 3 comes out. We have an x squared here. Then plus a 4x and then my, a plus a 3 equals 0. Divide both sides by negative 3 and we basically can just eliminate that. So we have an x squared plus a 4x plus 3 equals 0. And now we need to, well, factor. So to factor this, we find what multiplies with 3 as before, and we have an x plus 1 and an x plus 3. Now we can set each part equal to 0. x plus 1 equals 0, and x plus 3 equal to 0, and solve, and x is an easy negative 1 and a positive 3. Or sorry, negative 3. <laughs> Almost messed that one up right there. Okay, so we have a negative 1 and a negative 3. 3 here. Now notice they are the two points of our endpoints on our closed interval right there. So when that happens, we just need to find what these values are. So we need to check uh, the critical points, which these are our critical points, and then they're also the endpoints of our interval. So to do that, we find what f of negative 1 is, plug into our original equation, and that came out to be a positive 7. We have f of a negative 3 in our original equation, and that came out to be a positive 3. And so these are our absolute minimums and maximums, and so our absolute minimum is the coordinate point negative 3, comma 3, it's the less of the two here, right, less y value, and the absolute maximum here is that coordinate point negative 1, comma 7. So again, our final answer here is absolute minimum at negative 3, comma, positive 3, and absolute maximum at negative 1, comma, 7. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.